Vertical farming is an innovative agricultural practice where crops are cultivated in vertically stacked layers or structures, often within controlled environments like skyscrapers, shipping containers, or repurposed warehouses. This method leverages various technologies such as hydroponics, aeroponics, and aquaponics to grow plants without soil using nutrient-rich water solutions or mist. Let's take a look at the potential benefits, drawbacks, and future of vertical farming. But before we jump in, if you would like to see more videos just like this one, hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date. Firstly, let's look at some of the benefits of vertical farming. Vertical farming maximizes space usage by growing upwards instead of outwards, making it highly efficient for densely populated cities. This method significantly increases the amount of produce that can be grown per square foot compared to traditional farming. Vertical farming systems can use up to 95% less water than conventional agriculture, as water is recirculated and reused within the system. The minimized land use of vertical farming helps preserve natural habitats, reducing deforestation and land degradation associated with traditional farming. The controlled environment of vertical farms eliminates the need for chemical pesticides and herbicides, resulting in cleaner, safer produce and reduced environmental pollution. Vertical farms can also operate year-round, regardless of external weather conditions, providing a consistent supply of fresh produce. This continuous production helps stabilize food supply and prices, contributing to food security in urban areas. While vertical farming holds great promise, it also faces several challenges, high initial costs. The setup cost for vertical farming can be substantial due to the need for specialized equipment, technology, and infrastructure. This can be a barrier for small-scale farmers and startups. Energy consumption. Vertical farms require significant amounts of energy to power grow lights, climate control systems, and other technologies. Although LEDs are more energy efficient, the overall energy demand can still be higher, potentially offsetting some environmental benefits. Technical expertise. Operating a vertical farm requires a high level of technical knowledge and expertise in managing advanced agricultural systems. This can make it difficult for individuals without a background in agriculture or technology to successfully run a vertical farm. Crop limitations. Not all crops are suitable for vertical farming. Leafy greens, herbs, and small fruits are commonly grown, but staple crops like grains and root vegetables are challenging to produce in vertical systems. And economic viability. Economic feasibility of vertical farming can be uncertain. High operating costs combined with competition from traditional farming can make it challenging to achieve profitability without premium pricing or subsidies. Despite these challenges, vertical farming holds immense potential for transforming urban agriculture and food systems globally. By producing food within urban areas, vertical farming reduces dependence on long supply chains, enhancing food security and resilience against disruptions. Its efficient use of water, land, and energy contributes to more sustainable food production practices and reduce transportation distances, lower the carbon footprint of food distribution, helping to combat climate change. The vertical farming industry can create jobs in technology development, farm management, and food distribution. Transforming unused urban spaces into productive farms can stimulate local economies and improve community well-being. Ongoing research and innovation in vertical farming technologies will continue to improve efficiency, scalability, and accessibility, making vertical farming a viable solution for food production in cities worldwide. And that's all for today's video. If you'd like to learn more about all things sustainability, then you can listen to Let's Talk Farm to Fork right here on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Head to our website for free courses and to read our blog. And while you're here, subscribe to our channel for regular content. Together, we can help the world go just a little bit greener.